Welcome back to Angus Tip Pilates. Today is a wall Pilates workout to strengthen the abs and the glutes. No equipment is required. We'll be doing a warm up, workout, and stretching at the end. So let's get right into it. Let's start by lying down. Legs are against the wall, hip distance apart, and hips are underneath the knees. We'll start with some breathing. You can place your hands on your belly. You're gonna breathe in. Feel it expand with air and then exhale. Try to draw those abs down. And again, breathe in. And exhale. Draw it down. Keep going. Place your hands to the side, let's march. So bring one leg up and then the other. We'll warm up both the glutes and the abs and then alternate back and forth to give one a break and then work on the other one. Let's do ab prep, hands behind the head. We're gonna breathe in, exhale, flex up. Looking between the knees, come back down. Let's go for 30 seconds. Place your hands down. Let's do a hip roll. So we're gonna bring that low back closer towards the mat, go through the mid back, and then come up onto the shoulder blades, and we're up in a bridge. Roll back down nice and slow. If you feel it into your hamstrings, you might need to walk your feet down. You don't want to be able to see your toes over your knees when you're lying down. Let's do obliques, so hands behind the head. We're going to crunch to one side and then the other side. Try to get that shoulder blade off the ground. Here we go. Bring the arms down. Last one, we're gonna do a bridge. So hip lift, press up, down, and lift. We'll go for 10. So coming down, hovering, lift with those glutes, push through those glutes. Squeeze at the top. It's not wrong if you feel it in your hamstrings. I even feel it a little bit too. But if they start to cramp or it gets uncomfortable, that's where you want to re readjust your position. So either scooting closer or bringing your feet down. Great, let's come down. I'm going to scoot closer. First step, let's bring the arms overhead. We're going to flex up. Arms come down by the hips and lower down. Let's begin.
Great, bring the arms down. Scoot a little closer if you need to. We're going to bridge up, lift the heels, drop the heels, and lower. Lower to a hover. Let's begin. So lift, lift the heels, drop the heels, lower. Squeeze those glutes at the top. And keep your knees pointed towards the wall there. Not letting them go out. Great, come down. Back to abs. We're gonna do a hip lift. So bring one leg across the other, so they're crossed at the ankles. We're gonna start with the feet on the wall, lift up and lower down. Let's begin. Try not to press your arms into the ground <laughs> and really just make those lower abs have to do the work here. Great, place the legs back on. This time we're gonna turn the feet out into a V. Toes pointed away. We're gonna bridge up, lift the heels, drop the heels, and lower. So just like the other one we did. Let's begin. Lift, lift those heels, drop, and lower. If you're having a hard time getting those heels off, you might need to scoot your feet closer in towards each other. Great, come down, feet go back to parallel. Let's bring the ankles across again, turned out, arms are overhead. We're going to flex up as the legs come towards us. And if you want, you can lift the hips as well. Let's begin, so up and lower. So this is great work for the front of the abs, really curls up there. We're curling up, but we're still trying to look between the legs. So don't look inward towards your belly button. There's no need to crunch your head forward. Great, let's go back to bridging. So feet go back onto the wall. We're gonna do single leg. So coming up, bring one leg into tabletop, drop, come back up. 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds the other. Here we go. You're welcome for not doing 40 seconds on one side. <laughs> it's a lot, these are hard. You can follow my pace or you can go slower whatever feels good for you. Other side, so put that foot down. Tabletop leg, here we go. Put the foot down, come down. Now, scoot yourself further away from the wall. We wanna be more on an incline. 
The further we are away, the harder this is gonna be. We're gonna lift and lower the legs. So lift up, put they're right over the hips, lower down. If you can, keep that low back press into the mat. Let's begin. So lift, lower down. If you can't do that, that's okay. Just keep a neutral spine. So just a regular little space between the low back and the mat. Great, bring the legs down. Scoot closer if you need to. Legs go back onto the wall. We're gonna do single leg circles. So bridge up, bring one leg up, and we're gonna do small circles for 20 seconds, and then switch legs. Let's begin. So the bigger you make them, the more challenging it's gonna be to stay up. You really wanna stay level through the hips here. This gets a little core work too, to help us not, not rotate. Other side. Let's begin. Put the foot down, come down. Last ab exercise, we're gonna do the 100. We're gonna flex up, then we're gonna do small vertical pulses for 40 seconds. Let's begin. So if you want, you can hold your head with your hands and do one side for 20 seconds and then one side for 20 seconds. Up to you here. Great. Oh, come down. That's a good last ab one. Okay, last glute one. Let's bridge back up. One leg comes up, and then we're gonna do wipers. So we're gonna go side to side. So out to the side, and then across. Let's begin. You can make this as big as you like, as long as you can stay up and stable here. Put that foot down, come up, here we go. Finish strong. Great, put that foot down, come down. Bring the knees in, rock side to side. And let's stretch. So to stretch, we're gonna put our feet up against the wall, bring one leg across, and then now we can stretch the glute of that front leg. If you wanna deepen that stretch, you can bring your legs closer towards you. And we'll hold.
switch legs. Sit up. Let's do a butterfly stretch. So bringing the feet together and around the back. Bring the legs in front. We'll do a hamstring stretch. Then reach forward. Just do what you can here. Mine are very tight today. Up, let's do a side bend. So you can bring the feet underneath you if you like, or you can put one leg in front of the other. Actually, I'm gonna do that. It's kind of like a zigzag. We'll go to the side. Open up through the chest, other side. You're all set. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I will attach some videos that could be good to do after this if you feel like doing a little something more. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.